Okay, spring 05, number 14. We have a reaction 2A goes to 3B. Enthalpy is equal to minus 0 0.08206. So curious. Kilojoules. What quantity of heat in kilojoules is liberated by the reaction if it's 100 liters of A, 2280 millimeters of mercury, and 27 degrees C? Okay. This one's different than what we looked at before because they, they're actually looking for delta H, right? And we have delta H. This is delta H for just this reaction in general. We want it specifically for these conditions. This is really a conversion problem, okay? So what you're gonna do is take this delta H and notice this is, you can do a couple things with the molar ratio here. So you can say it's per every two moles of A, or per three moles of B. Well, since A is, all this info is about A, I'm gonna say this is for every two moles of A. Is that okay? So you could have put three moles of B if you were given information about B. And you just take the coefficient. So now, uh, this is a particular number of moles. I can tell that because I've got volume, I've got pressure, and I've got temperature. So I'm going to use the ideal gas law to find the number of moles and multiply that number by this quantity. Okay? So I'll just write it out so you can see it. Uh, N is PV over RT. P is 2280. Remember that I have to convert to atmospheres if I use the ideal gas law. So it's 1 over 760 is a conversion. If you don't know that, it'll be given on the back of the test. So that's atmospheres times volume. It's in liters, so that's good. R is 0 0.08206. Temperature is 27 plus 273. Multiply this out, take this quantity, and multiply by this quantity to get your answer. Yeah? I'm sorry, why is it two moles of A under there? This right here? Yeah. This came because, so all this info here, that's regarding A. Yeah. And so uh, this is just a general number. I want to make it specific for A because that's where all my information is. So I take this number right here. I put it here for two moles of A. I could have in another life, but for three moles of B here also, because I'm just taking that number, it's just from the molar ratio. It's just not helpful for me to write B here because all my info is about A. So anytime you have a reaction, yeah, you can just divide by per mole of the whatever element or compound it is and put the coefficient in front. Yeah. So you want it to be in liters then? You said it was good that it was in liters? Like if they were given to us in milliliters, would we have to convert to liters? If you're using this equation, yes. Okay. Because R is liters atmospheres. So you'd have to convert. Okay. This one's okay. This gives you the overall. Does that give you the... This is just the general delta H for reaction, and we're making specific for A. Okay. Yeah. Specific. Yeah, you shouldn't need to change the sign. Let's see what you got down here. Oh, oh, see. So in 14, what quantity of heat is liberated? That's what this means. So it, it means the same. So I could say delta H, just say what's in blue here. Delta H is minus this number. Or if I wanted to say it verbally, the enthalpy is this energy liberated. 
and I would not have to verbally say minus sign or negative. So what I'm saying in words, that's why all the answers are positive. I'm just saying in words, what is the negative value for the enthalpy? Yeah, so that's why you didn't have to put it.